What is going on, guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball, and today I am bringing you an epic battle. We've got the Die DSR Plus, brand new on the market, versus the Shocker Amp. <gasps> Woo, baby! So, before I hop into this, you guys already know the deal. Go to pbswagbag.com, use our code LWP10 to save 10% off your first monthly subscription of one of the best mystery bags out on the market you might get some cool piece of swag that might go with one of these one day you that's never right know. that's right no so let, let's jump on into this we're talking the die dsr plus the brand new uh these guns are about a thousand bucks if you want the fancy ones they're 1100 shocker amp these are 900 so a hundred dollars cheaper than the die dsr plus how much older are they though uh shocker amps been out for a couple years and the die dsr plus just came out so we shall see. I'm going to take the, you want me to take them off the stand or what, what What do you think? I don't know. What do you want to talk about first? Uh, we're going to talk about the barrel. We're covering it from, you know, from top to bottom, really. How about this? What's up? Let's see how it looks. Spin one of them around so they're next to each other. So the barrels Ooh. kind of line up. Okay. You want to see a little, a little Oh my God, right side. there. That's perfect. Don't move it. Oh yeah, because I can. And I know it looks weird to you, but from my angle, okay, I if can it looks see good both from barrels your angle, nice and clear. That and, sounds hey, that's yeah. good. Tell me all about them. Okay, we're gonna start with the Shocker amp. You've got your 14-inch two-piece barrel that does accept the eight-inch Freak XL inserts. You can buy the inserts for about 15, 20 bucks a piece if you want to change out different bore sizes. Over here on the die gun, you've got your 14-inch two-piece core barrel that you can definitely buy different barrel backs, but they're gonna be more expensive than just buying the inserts like the Shocker Amp. Speaking of that, you're talking right now stock out of the box, the Shocker Amp comes with a 687 insert and the Die Core 2 piece comes with a 688. So they're, they're neck and neck in that department. You can tell the porting's different on this. Um, it's got the spiral like the All-American and this has got a couple of the straight ports and then there's their classic Die up near the front. Um, okay, you want to talk about front grips then? Yeah, because I can, can see those, you don't need okay, to move cool. nothing. So front grip wise, they extended it on the new DSR Plus to be a little bit more comfortable for guys with bigger hands, but now I'm getting down low, like they look really, really close, Mark. Is it looking good on your camera end? Yeah, they, they look real similar on yeah, my end as well. They look like, because I'm, I'm glad that Dai actually did extend their grip frame uh, from the previous model because yeah it was a little tight but now those ones are running neck and neck as you can see in the front area speaking about that this one is definitely way fatter or bigger compared to the shocker do you know the reason for that there might be a battery in one of them this one up front that's where the nine volt goes and the shocker amp the nine volt goes in the back of the grip so both operating a nine volt, but the one is in the front here, and then the shocker amp has it in the back. What do you do with the front grip on the shocker? What do you do with it? You hold on to it. That's where your regulator is. Oh, is that where you adjust pressure? And yeah, stuff that's too? where you're adjusting the pressure and stuff. Uh, we're talking feed neck, huh? Okay, that, much... that I can't really see, unfortunately. Okay. The angle got just out of the way well, on that one. I'm going to bring them out. I'm taking them out. Bring they've been, them out. They've been held in out. there too long. Huh. So he just wants to touch we're them. Gonna just want to touch them. Shocker amp feed neck. We're going to start there. Twist lock here. Thumb screw, which I do like. Got a nice thumb screw. You can adjust it to whatever hopper you guys are actually using out there. And then with the DSR, you're talking, you just got the same lever here, but you got to bust out an Allen wrench to actually get it tightened to obviously whatever hopper you guys are using. So there's definitely a difference there. Uh, let's go body style. I like the new body style, of the DSR plus. It's, it's thinned down and it's lighter. It's got some cool, like, got some shark waves going on in there. A little different change up front too. And the Shocker Amp, you already know, that baby is light as well, super sleek. It's got tons of different curves, lines, and even up top, it's got a nice couple three, three ridges there. So they're both extremely light guns. I'm not gonna put a weight on them right now, Mark, but yeah, they're both very, very light. Uh, what are those black things on the side of the Shocker? What these? Oh, the eye, eye covers. This is where your detents go, and this is where it's got the brake beam eye system. So yeah, if you guys do brake paint, you're gonna access that with an Allen screw. You can pull those out, clean it out with a nice Q-tip, and be on your way. You can also change your ball detents that way as well. I like that you brought that up, Mark. I know this one's brand new, and you don't see that on here, do you? 
No, that's what I was going to ask you. Like, how do I change it then on the... How do you change it? It's called the 4th Gen I-Pipe System. I always put my finger in there, kind of twist it, and you can get a hold of that bad boy. So it's got built-in detents with this. So die is known... <sighs> Weird way to say it. This, if it does break paint, you can easily pull this out and clean it instead of having to take off your detent and you take off your plate covers, clean throughout there. So I do like that I-Pipe system on the die gun. And they've improved it. That's why it's Gen 4, not still Correct. Gen 1. Yeah, they've had, a, they've had a tons of different generations, problems with these things breaking and, and all that. Just trying to get that bad boy back in there. Sometimes they're a little finicky. And if I remember correctly, they're relatively inexpensive to replace Correct. if you do have to anyway. That's true. Very, very true. Oh. Okay. Screw the barrel back on. Um, and that's a very important. Speaking of that, kind of finicky to get back in there since it's brand new, not broken in but you have to shoot this gun with that eye pipe in there or else you're gonna have a whole mess going on. So remember that guys. Uh, next off, you wanna kind of do a trigger and hit the bolt stuff last. Oh, oh yeah. They're just oh. cleaning the dumpster over there. Garbage no big deal. day. It's Ooh. garbage day, it's Thursday. All right. Cool, uh, let's talk about the triggers. This one has the new Edge 2 trigger on here. That's sexy. Um, I did a review in a, a previous video that this was actually designed by a competition shooter for leverage and shot consistency. Some triggers, when you're trying to walk it and get on it, like your fingers get tired, the way they designed that Edge 2 trigger from a world-class champion shooter is this is what they came up with. It's got holes in here. It's interesting. I like it, but it's not like your classic blade or scythe trigger like the Shocker Amp. I mean, and depending on when the videos are released, check our channel, guys, and make sure you're subscribed because the shooting video on the Dai uh, DSR Plus may or may not have come out yet. If it hasn't, it's coming soon. If it has, it just passed. So, so stay tuned. Go back and watch it if it has already come out. All right, so the triggers, um, grip frame-wise, let's kind of hold those. I don't know how well. Yeah, I can't see can't the difference. See. Yeah, you so got to stagger got, them for me. Yep, there yeah. you go. Grip frame-wise there on the DSR Plus versus the Shocker Amp down here. I'm gonna hold that there. So the Shocker Amp definitely has more room. Me, me. More room throughout this way, you guys can see in here, compared to the Die DSR Plus. So, How much room do you need, to be fair? No, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of room still, but just saying the Shocker Amp bows out. If you really got a long finger pull, then <laughs> that might be the gun for you. Um, let's talk about the ASAs before I go into the bolt system. The Dai DSR Plus right here, ASA, it's got that new XL lever on there. So compared to the other model, it was hard to kind of get a hold of. This one now way bigger. You can get a hold of that bad boy to engage and disengage the air. And then if you were wondering velocity wise, you're going to adjust it through the bottom of the airport. With the Shocker Amp, Mark kind of mentioned that earlier. If you're going to be velocity, you're adjusting the velocity, it does have a plus and minus symbol in the front grip reg and you adjust it through the bottom. And this one does actually have a knob. It does not have a lever. So the knob ASA here, on and off. So I don't know which one I like better. Maybe the knob, but this new one on the DSR is pretty nice. A uh, so. question for you. Go Did ahead. The, the reg adjustment on the DSR, does it have a plus and minus on um, the bottom? Um, It does not. Okay. I've no. seen it in the manual, but I didn't know. Yeah, if it was the, actually obviously the... the manual will explain it, but it does not have a plus or minus. Okay. All right, well... Barrels, eye covers, feed necks, trigger frames, triggers, ASAs. Let's get onto the bolt. Before I do that, the bolt, both of these guns are right around 110 operating pressure. So if you're wondering, you know, if I want a little lower to save some air, they're both gonna be operating about the same. This one does have a quarter turn bolt system for the shocker amp. Turn it to the left and then you can slide this bad boy out. You'll be able to see the entire core there. Kind of spin it around slowly so you can see the difference. And then... I never noticed those slots are on an angle. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're definitely tilted. And then since that's a quarter turn, we're going to go over here to the DSR Plus, and this is a push button bolt. So you're going to push that silver button in, and it should slide right on out for you. And I will note that the way you grab that with like the, the claw fingers is the designed way to do it. That's yeah, not correct. Like a, it's oh, got I those... just kind of figured it out. Exactly. That's that's the correct way to do it. It's got the divots on, on each side, but then I'll, I'll kind of spin that around for you. Um, so the DSR Plus from its previous model as well has less O-rings and they're still using the colored ones. So the cores are definitely uh, definitely different looking. So Are they interchangeable? <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> so you got the Shocker amp up front 
and then you get the die DSR Plus back here. The die one has a soft tip now, right? Yes, it does. What you about get, the shocker? You can. It does not come with a soft tip, but you can buy aftermarket bolt systems for it. So you got the front end there, and then the new flex face for the DSR Plus. Flex yeah, flex face. I mean, both of these things, these guns are machines. So you're not going to go wrong with either or. Um, before we kind of conclude this video, is there anything else, Mark, that you would want to know? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, uh, how about how, we'll go over the board systems? Uh, they're both uh, light up display screens. Uh, it's so, it's, yeah. of course, the sun. Well, the DSR does have a light up display screen. You can use uh, change the modes, different color, uh, different player profiles on there, and then so does the shocker amp. They're both press buttons in the back. The DSR does have like a joystick to kind of navigate through. Shocker amp, you're going to use the trigger to cycle through modes. Um, yeah, other than that... Yeah, I, I was just thinking colorways. Like the Shocker's been around for a while, so people have custom anode them. And the Shocker comes stock. Kinds of crazy. I mean, you got, yeah, black, red, blue, green, purple. That's five. So this has five stocks of what... You know what people do? They buy these guns and they take them to arc anodizing or aesthetic and they get them anodized if that's the way you want to be. But both of these guns, you're not going to go wrong with. You uh, got the Die about, DSR Plus. I know. What about mechanical conversion? Oh, that is a good one. So this has the eyeless wiring system. You can drop a CVO frame onto this thing and the uh, toolless solenoid removal really, really quickly. That costs extra though, right? That doesn't oh, come for with sure. the... Okay, yeah, it does not sure. come stock with this, but the Shocker Amp can go mechanical very quickly. I know the DSR Plus, there has been talk about a mechanical frame coming out for this. We shall see. Not that I know of right now, but uh, I think they're, they're onto something here. So until next time, guys, don't forget, follow us on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And uh, we've got more videos coming your way. So stay tuned. And, and you know where to shop because we're the best source for paintball. <laughs> well, what paintball? Duh, you already know that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, and we appreciate all your support. Until next time, we will see you guys later. And if you want to see yourself in one of our videos, send us a clip of you saying lonewolfpaintball.com and maybe we'll include it in a future video. I like that. See ya.